What's up, Death Freedom Fighters? It's me, your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle Man. So I'm at work, got a quick break, man. So, but this is what I wanted to talk about. Um, I was uh, had had a got a flat tire uh, yesterday, and um, got AAA towed uh, my car to uh, the auto shop where. Uh, I was I was going to get tires anyway, so I just had them tow it rather than trying to take the tire off and put the spare on because my lug nuts are stripped and all that good stuff. So they had to, you know, just basically it was it was just going to be more work than I needed to do. So just had them tow it. So anyway, so get to the place and uh, me and the the cashier girl are talking and. And we're laughing and stuff and she comes around the counter and she sees uh, the shoes I have on which were uh, my LeBron soldier uh, soldier 12s um, and she's like oh man I love those shoes like where'd you get those at and I'm like uh, Nike.com and um, she's like yeah oh man like how how much were those and I told her I was like I got them for $65 at Christmas time and she was like like what like $65 like she's like I got my son up here and mine were $250 she's like I don't spend less than you know $250 on, on, on my shoes or whatever like that and I'm like why <laughs> you know I'm just like I'm like so she's, she's one of those people that's in the mind frame that if you spend more like it's more value and things like that and her son is a, a little kid, you know, like he's not like a teenager or anything like that. He's a little kid. So um, I'm like, oh, no, I'm like my daughter, you know, she still likes to light up shoes. You know what I mean? And she's 12. She's about to be 13. She's like, oh, no, I'll never buy Walmart shoes and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, that just, guys, that just, that just boggles my mind that people think like that, you know. Um, I grew up poor. I had two other brothers, um, raised by a single mom, and, and uh, you know, she just didn't have a lot of money for, you know, the, the luxuries in life or the finer things in life and things like that. You know, we, we scrambled for everything that we got, you know, and when I wanted, like, the name brand shoes, like the Jordans and things like that, when I was a kid, that was the popular shoe, you know, Michael Jordan was the man back then. Um, you know, she, she, she was not spending no $200 on the damn tennis shoes, okay? I got hand-me-down stuff. So, it just boggles my mind, guys, that people still think like that. And it just got me thinking, like, I don't mind buying, like, inexpensive or, or let's just call it what it is, cheaper products and things like that. But when it's the same exact product, um, why would you consciously spend more on it? So, for example, those LeBrons. She, she, would, she wanted to spend... $250 versus $65 on the exact same shoe. That's what I'm talking about, like the exact same thing, the exact same thing. So think of it like this, my ex-wife, not to shit on my ex-wife, but she was in that mind frame. Like when, when we were married, like she was just all about like, if we weren't spending money, like people would know and like people would judge us and things like that. I'm like, let them judge, like I don't, give two F's okay because they're not paying the bills here I'm paying the bills and this is what we got you know and I was thought like my mom you know so my whole thing was is um, her she liked using Tide laundry soap so we would always go to the grocery store and we would go to um, to say our, our high-end grocery store here and um, Tide for like a just say 40 low bottle it's like $45 something like that I mean something ridiculous and at the Dollar General that same 40 low bottle was $15 but in her mind because it came from the dollar store it was it was not the same thing it was cheaper and this and the third my boy my boy Dana's like that like I, like I use six star uh, pre-workout from Walmart or Walgreens, whichever one is on sale that week. Um, and usually it's $15 at uh, Walmart and it's like $13 at Walgreens. I usually get it at Walgreens and then Walgreens will have it on sale for like $11.
um, so I'll get it there, you know. It's like, God, it's the, it's the exact same product. Like, so why would I spend more on the product? Like, if I can get it at a discounted price or a cheaper price or I got a coupon for it, like, why, like, especially using a coupon, like, why would you just not get it for that cheaper price? You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, if, I, if I'm if i using a coupon, like, I, I'm, like, I'm beneath that. Like, I'm, I'm above that. I'm above using coupons. I'm above, like, I, and guys, I was watching a video from another uh, deck girl, and she, and she said, and she said it in her video, this is why we stay losing, okay? Because we can't get out of that mind frame that, I'm on a budget or I got bills or I'm trying to get out of debt or just in general like we think that we got to keep up with the Joneses like my ex-wife was in that mind frame like her friend bought a Toyota Camry she had to go buy a Toyota Toyota Camry but she had to get a brand new one she couldn't just get like a used one or this that, and a third because it was you know she felt like she was above all of that and I'm just not and I'm just not in that mind frame I'm like I'll get a Toyota Camry but I'll go on and get the one from JD by rider which is six thousand dollars you know, used or whatever, you know, pay for it in cash. And she just could not think like that. She just was not in that mind frame. I'm like, guys, whether you're spending a thousand dollars on your mortgage or I'm spending $400 on my rent, like guys, we still have a roof over our heads. Like that's what we should be thinking about at the end of the day. Guys, I got shoes on my feet. There's people out here who are homeless. You feel me? Like there's people out there who, who don't even, who can't even wash their clothes, you know? And you're, 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 you're titter tattering with me over the price of some shoes, you know, and how you don't want the cheap shoes and this, that, and the third, where the homeless guy out on the street would love to just have a freaking new pair of shoes. You feel me? It's like, come on, man. Like, we got to get out of this mind frame. Um, and, you know, because we're, we're going to be raising up another generation of people who are in debt and a slave to their money. You know what I mean? It's like, no, I'm not raising my daughter like that. And in all actuality, my daughter still want the light up shoes. She still, you know, like her mom would go all out of her way to get her son, um, um, like Jordans and LeBrons and Kyrie's and this, that, and the third. And then he would mess those shoes up just like he would mess up the, the dollar store shoes or whatever. Now... It's like, I wear LeBron's, um, I get them because it's like a, a treat to myself at the end of the year. Like, I've done good, I'm paying my debt down, this and the third. Like, I want to, you know, be stylish and things like that. And in all honesty, like, I never had them as a kid. Like, I never had, like, the Jordans and things like that. So, I'm able to get those things now. But I'm still going to get it at a discounted price. I'm not going to spend $250. LeBron is a millionaire already. Like, he don't need more of my money, you know what I mean? He's already getting $65 of it, okay? And so that's just my mind frame that I'm thinking of. It's just like, why would I spend, you know, $45 on laundry soap when I can get it for $15? Now, I will say like when I was in uh, Dis Walt Disney World with my daughter last year, um, there was a Walgreens right across from our hotel. You know, so I'm gonna spend uh, money on the, the item there. Like that's just because that was what we had at our disposal. You know, there wasn't a dollar store around or whatever, and I wasn't going to pay $20 for an Uber to go to a dollar store to get the brand that I use. It's like, this is what they have at the Walgreens. They had this, that, and the third. It's like, so I found whatever the cheapest bird, whatever laundry soap was, you know, to wash our clothes before we left. And that's what I used. Like, I'm not going to spend, you know, but I still went with the cheaper option. It's like, guys, like... I just, I don't understand why so many people are in this mind frame. Like, if you're not spending money, like, you're worthless. Like, I, I just, I don't understand it. Now, I do believe that there's a time where quality is, you know, of certain value, like, with certain things. But other than that, guys, I'm shopping at Walgreens. I'm shopping at Walmart. I'm shopping at the dollar store. I'm looking for the deals. Like, I will pull out a coupon at a restaurant in a minute. I don't give a you know what because I'm just not embarrassed like that and I think a lot of people it comes down to like an embarrassment thing it's a status thing like you know um, so whether I get a Mercedes for fifteen thousand dollars and I paid cash for it used and you went out and bought it brand new like we both still have a Mercedes like I, I don't get the, I just don't understand the correlation so guys I'm not gonna keep this too long man that's all I got for you right now let me know in the comments what you think you know, am I full of shit? Am, am I on to something? Do you feel the same way? You know, do you know people that are like that, that feel like, you know, they got to keep up with the Joneses and if, 
you know, they put so much value and emphasis on money. Let me know in the comments, all right? That's all I got for you right now. I love you. I will see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.